Hey guys, I'm going to share with you a recent trip I did to the shores of Lake Roosevelt for some winter trout fishing. Lake Roosevelt is a massive reservoir of the Columbia River formed by Grand Coulee Dam. All along the length of the reservoir are beaches perfect for winter trout fishing due to the rainbow trout's tendency to cruise near the shore in cold water. I live about two and a half hours away from here, so I had to get up early to get there. Well, good morning. It is currently 4.25 a.m. I'm headed to Lake Roosevelt. My goal is to get there before sunrise, so see you out there. We arrived at Hanson Harbor at 7 a.m. and got lines in shortly afterward. Our rigging was simple, a slip sinker rig with my favorite marshmallow and worm at the business end. The beach we were at had a gradual taper into deeper water. Although not necessary, I thought to wear waders to get my bait a little further out there. After casting, we propped the rod up in a rod holder. I used a stick, and my friends had these ingenious rod holders consisting of a concrete form stake and PVC tube. The next step is wait, and wait we did. It was two and a half hours until we got our first bite and fish. Looks like fish to Yep, need the net. Here you go, bro. Okay, kill fish. Not as small as you think. Oh, there he is. Bring him over here, buddy. Oh, you good one. Nice you fish. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. Nice. Yeah. Is it a keeper? You'll notice throughout the video, we check each caught fish for the presence of an adipose fin. Buddy. So you had to be clipped? Yeah. yeah. That's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Can he not keep it? Oh, you can. It's oh. keeper. Well, we better keep this one. On Lake Roosevelt, you're allowed to keep five trout per person per day that don't have an adipose fin. Lake Roosevelt is stocked annually with several hundred thousand rainbow trout which have their adipose fin clipped in the hatchery they came from. There is a population of wild rainbow trout that spawn in tributaries of Lake Roosevelt. These fish do have an intact adipose fin. So any fish with an intact adipose fin has to be released. The intent of this rule is to protect the population of wild rainbow trout. The bite was so spread out that I did not have my camera on. I would turn it on when someone hooked a fish with six people having their rods spread out. I did a fair amount of running. <laughs> okay. What I really liked about fishing with my friends was everybody shared in camera duties. It was another fun thing to do while the bite was pretty slow. Fish. <laughs> Rowan's fish all over again. Alright. Ooh. Pretty. Yeah, it is. Pretty. Hey, buddy, what? Look at the fucking fish. Whoa! Ready? <laughs> That's a nice one, too. It's a wild fish. Okay. Yep, yeah, he's got an adipose Fire. fin. The second fish caught had an intact adipose fin, so we released it. I want to pause here and talk about fish handling. Notice how we use a rubber landing net and keep the fish in the water. Essentially our tactic is net the fish, get a good look at it, and make a determination of what to do with it. And a successful release to me means the fish swims off and does whatever a fish does and that there's a realistic chance that, that fish can be caught again. You want to grab the net, Cooper? Yeah, buddy. And that camera does come out, come off the tripod. There is like a little. Yeah, I figured that. Thanks. There's a zoom at the top. If you want yep. to play with that, you don't have to. Got it. All right. Thanks, Cooper. You ready, Cooper? You ready, buddy? Whoa. Nice, Nick. Good job. Is it key it's a keeper. All right. Nice. Cool, buddy. That one bit a uh, 
Jet Puff and uh, Nightcrawler. Nice work. Thanks, man. Yeah. Woo! Cool. Nice. Woo! Oh, it's a nice one. Good fish. Alright, nice. sweet. Good job. That's through the bank, isn't it? Nice. Got a whooping stick in there. A whooping stick? Yeah. It's a good sized fish. Got the screw. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can keep it. Yeah. Yep, it's a keeper. Sweet. Nice job, buddy. Job. Look at the hook just came out of its mouth, too. Cool. <laughs> right on. <laughs> so cool. Oh, kids are coming. Nice. How's it look? Whoa. Well, I don't know. St nine. Stubby adipose fin. Here is a fish that appears to have a partial adipose fin. Watch it, wrong tip, guys. It's probably a hatchery fish. It probably is, but I don't think we need another one. Problem is. No, I'm okay. <laughs> Occasionally, a clip does not completely cut the adipose fin, or the adipose fin partially regrows, and it looks kind of funky. Uh, my personal preference when catching a fish with a funky clipped adipose fin is to let it go. This is a gray area, and the angler that caught this fish decided to release it. Always use your best judgment, and every scenario is different. A plus here is this fish seemed to enjoy the limelight of the camera. Oh yeah. Woo! Nice. Oh, that's a keeper, buddy. Woo! Big one. <laughs> Good job. Just check to make sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's keeper. Nice. Sweet. Good fish. Good job, bud. Thanks. Got the camera. Oh yeah. I'll take on this side. Nice grab, buddy. <laughs> Woo! Good looking fish. It is a hatchery trout. Hit a foam jig head and a night crawler. Perfect. Nice, buddy. Cool. That'll keep. Yeah. Yeah, we'll call that good for that. All in all, we ended up with five fish kept and two released. What I love about winter shore fishing on Lake Roosevelt is it's easy and it's very fun. You can just hang out, build a fire, and take it all in. There are some nuances to this though. Water level is a major factor on this reservoir. Over the winter, the water level is brought down to make room for spring runoff. You can easily check the level of Lake Roosevelt here. When Lake Roosevelt is full, the surface elevation is 1290 feet above sea level. To get an idea of exposed beach, check the most recent level. The difference will give you an idea of exposed beach. For example, the day that we went fishing, the elevation was 1283. So, level at full pool, 1290, minus 1283 is a difference of 7 vertical feet. This tells me before going the water line is not up in the shoreline vegetation. Lake Roosevelt can get drawn down to elevations of 1250 or lower, so that's a difference of like 40 plus vertical feet, which makes a whole bunch of beach to walk on. We like beach fishing Lake Roosevelt when the elevation is around 1275 or a difference of 15 vertical feet. Fishing does tend to get better deeper into winter, so we will definitely be back. Other sore beaches I know to fish are Spring Canyon, Keller, Hanson Harbor, Lincoln, Hawk Creek, Seven Bays, Fort Spokane, Porcupine Bay, and Hunter's Campground to name a few. This is a very simple way to fish. I encourage you, your family, and friends to get out there and take home some high quality protein.
tight lines.